हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन दिस इज प्रोफेसर शिवलिंग स्वामी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू हैव डिस्कशन ऑन साइंड एंड अनसाइंड कैरेक्टर्स इन सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस सो कंटेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आर फर्स्ट वील सी साइज देन वी विल सी हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट साइंड एंड अनसाइंड कैरेक्टर्स इन एट बिट देन वी विल गो थ्रू रेंज ऑफ वैल्यूज then we will see what is the difference between declaring variable as signed and unsigned and then we'll conclude this video with some simple programs so let's begin here are some facts about signed and unsigned characters in c and c++ signed char and unsigned char are two data types in c and c++ which are used to store characters like letters and special symbols here one fact that we should understand is that character data type technically stores integers and not characters i repeat this statement character data type technically store integers and not characters because we all know that character hold ascii value of actual character for example if i declare char ch and if i store a it will actually holding numeric code 97 for a which is called as ascii that is american standard code for information interchange so character data type remain to be an integer so at the end of this session we will see some programs which will demonstrate that character technically hold integer that is ascii value and not actual characters we will take few parameters to differentiate between signed and unsigned characters the first parameter is size there exists no difference between signed and unsigned characters in terms of size because both signed as well as unsigned characters take 8 bits of memory that is 1 byte next parameter is representation as shown here unsigned character take all 8 bits as data bits whereas signed character take the first bit that is more significant bit as signed bit and it use rest of 7 bits as data bits the next parameter is range of values signed character ranges from minus 128 to plus 127 whereas unsigned character ranges from 0 to 255 and the final parameter is declaration if you want to declare signed character you have to use keyword signed whereas while declaring unsigned character you have to use keyword unsigned in most of the reference books default declaration is given unsigned but when i tried it using programming i found it as signed so i think it's depend on the compiler and the platforms we are using In next few slides, we are going to discuss all these differences one by one with some graphical representations. So let's begin our discussion with size. So as we have discussed, both signed and unsigned character require eight bits, that is one byte of memory to hold one character. So let's see how these eight bits are used or represented in signed and unsigned character. in signed char the first bit that is the most significant bit is used as signed bit whereas the rest of seven bits are used for data bits in unsigned character all eight bits are used as data bits so next is range of values as we have discussed in previous slides that signed character ranges from minus 128 to plus 127 whereas unsigned character ranges from 0 to 255 here we all should know how these values are calculated so first we'll see signed character so as per our previous discussion signed character use the most significant bit that is the first bit as signed bit so when it is 1 it indicate negative value and when it is 0 it indicates positive value so the first bit that is most significant bit as shown here is used as signed bit in signed char 
So the most important thing that we should know here is that the negative values are always represented using two's complement form. So here in this example, the minus 128 is also in the two's complement form. So to understand this concept, first we will see how to convert a given number into two's complement with some simple example and then we will continue this slide. So take one example and convert 5 into 2's complement. So this is the binary representation of 5 that is 0, 1, 0, 1. So 1's complement will be 1, 0, 1, 0. To calculate 2's complement, we have to add 1 to the 1's complement. So here is the simple binary addition. We will add this 1 to the 1's complement. So first 1, 0 will get 1 as a sum and 0 as a carry. Then 1, 0 will get 1 as a sum and 0 as a carry. 0, 0 will get 0 as a sum and 0 will be the carry. 1, 0 it is 1. So finally we are getting the sum as 1, 0, 1, 1 which is a 2's complement but it will be the equivalent to minus 5. Similarly, this is the representation of binary representation of 128 that is 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, which is an 8-bit representation. So once complement of this 128 is as shown here, we have just inverted 1 into 0 and zeros into 1s. So to convert this into 2's complement, we have to add 1 to the 1's complement. So this is the binary addition, simple binary addition as we have seen in a previous example. So here 1, 1 the sum will be 0 and carry is 1 now. Next 1 1 we will once again get sum as 0 and carry 1. Again 1 1 will get sum as 0 and carry 1. It will continue as binary addition and we will get this sum at the end. So this is the final sum we are getting here which is 2's complement and it is equivalent to minus 128. So this is how we convert given binary number into 2's complement which is equivalent to its negative value. So let's continue our discussion with range of values now. So as per discussed example, minus 128 here is in the form of 2's complement. So I would like to repeat that all negative values are represented using 2's complement form whereas all positive values are represented using binary form. So to calculate the largest possible value in signed care, we have to set all data bits to 1 as shown here. When you calculate the magnitude, you will get 127 as a result. So this is how range of signed care that is minus 128 to 127 is calculated. Now let's see how unsigned care range is calculated that is 0 to 255. So as per our previous discussion, all 8 bits in unsigned care are used as data bits. So to calculate the smallest possible value, set all bits to 0 and if you calculate magnitude, you will get result 0. And to calculate the largest possible value, set all bits to 1 and if you calculate the magnitude, you will get result as 255. So this is how the range of unsigned care that is 0 to 255 is calculated. Next we will discuss about declaration part. We can declare variable either signed or unsigned. As we know that signed and unsigned care both take one byte of memory. So while declaration user should not think about size. So what is the parameter that user should consider while declaring the variable? And I think that should be range of values. If user want values from minus 128 to 127 in a program, user should declare character type as signed. And if user want values from 0 to 255, user have to declare type as unsigned. So next we will see some programs which will demonstrate that character technically hold integer that is ASCII values and not characters. So let's continue with the examples. So I have written this program to print ASCII value of given character. So in this program you can see that I have declared one variable character and I have asked user to enter one character here. 
so i've used percent c as a former specifier as it is character and in printf statement here i'm using percent c reference to display character and percent d format specifier to display integer which this character is holding so if i execute this program you can see that if i put character a it will display 65 as ascii value so 65 is a integer that character is holding we'll once again execute this program this time i will put small a now you can see it will print 97 so 97 is an integer that is ascii value of small a which character is holding so next program is about validating range of values so this is very simple program i have written in this program i have declared one variable ch as unsigned char and i have put value 130 into that so as we all know that unsigned char range is 0 to 255 so 130 is within range value so when i display this value it won't give any error and it will definitely print 130 So let's execute this program and see whether it display 130 or else it will print some other value. So you can see here it is displaying 130. Now we'll make some changes in that. We'll put signed instead of unsigned. Now this 130 value is out of signed char range. Signed range is minus 128 to 127. So it should not hold 130 number within this. So let's see what it will display. execute this program so you can see here it is displaying minus 126 instead of 130 so it is giving wrong answer so by this program we can conclude that signed and unsigned values hold values within their range so next in this program we'll see what happens when we exceed range of values and how it affect the output so in this program i have taken one variable that is signed and store value 125 in that what is range of signed char it is from minus 120 to 127 so 125 is within a range so if i execute this program you can see here it is giving right output now make some changes in this program i will increment character by 1 using increment operator and will print the character value once again now let's see what will be the output and it should display 126 as a result yes it is next i will increment character value once again by 1 and i will print it using printf statement now the value is 127 that is the maximum range in this case also it will give right output as the value of ch is still within a range you can see here it is giving right output now once again i will increment value of character now the character value will be 128 and that is not in the range so how many numbers we have exceeded it is by 1 so remember that when we exceed the maximum limit signed char start printing numbers from lowest limit once again so the output will be now minus 128 we'll execute this program and we'll see the output so you can see here minus 128 is a result if i increment this once again and if i display the value now i am exceeding limit by two numbers that means it will print two numbers from lowest range that is minus 128 and minus 127 so now output should be minus 127 let's execute this program and you can see here output is minus 127 so let's see the same example with some graphical representation here so this is the program where we have declared one variable that is signed char and we have stored 125 when we display this value it will display 125 as it is because 125 is within a range of minus 128 to 127 we'll increment this value by 1 so it will display now 126 which is once again within a range so we don't have any problem here once again increment the value it will print 127 which is still within a range so it will display 127 but when i will increment it once again and if i try to display it it will exceed the range by 1 now and it will display minus 128 when i increment it once again it will display minus 127 
so both in the case of signed and unsigned character when we exceed the limit it start displaying values from lowest range once again so friends this is all about the signed and unsigned characters so in this video we have seen some facts about signed and unsigned characters we have seen size how to represent signed and unsigned characters we have seen range of values how to declare signed and unsigned characters and we have concluded this video with some simple programs so friends if you like this video please share this video and put your valuable feedbacks in comment section for more updates do subscribe this channel now thank you